Netscape and Sun Microsystem announces JavaScript, the open cross-platform object scripting language. What the heck is an object scripting language for enterprise networks and the internet? Every single person right now <laughs> thinking about life. <laughs> Look what they did to the internet. Look at what they did. This is how the suffering began. This is it. This is how we got JavaScript. 28 industry leading companies to endorse JavaScript as a complement to Java for easy online application development. E-O-A-D. Oh, this is beautiful. Mountain View, California. When did we start abbreviating California as Calif? December 4th, 1995. A day that will live in infamy and I forgot to turn off alerts! Netscape Communications Corporation, NASDAQ, oh wow, they really went down, and Sun Microsystems Incorporated, Sun W, uh, what a W, uh, today announced JavaScript, an open cross-platform object scripting language for the creation and customization of applications on enterprise networks and the internet, capital I, internet. The JavaScript language complements Java, Sun's industry-leading object-oriented cross-platform programming language. <laughs> Write once, debug everywhere. The initial version of JavaScript is available now as part of the beta version of Netscape Navigator 2.0, which is currently available for downloading from Netscape's website. In addition, 28, I cannot believe this is how it all started. Like, think about this. We now get 27 individual tools to compile our JavaScript running on everything from medical devices to NASA to our browser to IoT to just a device script. You get everything now. Look at what happened. This is what made my life less awesome. In addition, 28 industry leading companies, including American Online, Industry leading Apple computer, uh, architect software, what attachment corporation, what AT&T, Borland International, Brio Technology Incorporated, Computer Associates Incorporated, Digital Equipment Corporation, Hewlett Packard, uh, in Iconovex, uh, Illustra, Illustra Information Technology, Informix Software, I, Intuit. Okay, I know Intuit. Like, there's very few I even recognize here. Macromedia, poor one out for Macromedia. Uh, Novell, Oracle Corporation, boo, 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 uh, Precept Software, Rad Technologies, the Santa Cruz Operation, Silicon Graphics, Spider Technologies, Sysbase, Toshiba, uh, Variety, uh, Verity, uh, Vermeer Technologies have endorsed, oh, where's Microsoft? Because didn't Microsoft just completely f everybody when it comes to JavaScript? Shocking. Um, have endorsed JavaScript as an open standard object scripting language and intend to provide it in the future products. The draft specification of JavaScript as well as the final draft specification of Java is planned for publishing and submission to appropriate standard bodies for in industry review and comment this month. Oh God, I remembered Microsoft's solution. Yep. JavaScript is an easy to use object scripting language designed for creating live online applications that link together object and resources on both clients and servers. Wow, did they have no idea what it was gonna become. Look everybody, we built this in 10 days. <laughs> While Java is used by programmers to create new objects and applets, uh, JavaScript is designed to be used by HTML page authors and enterprise application developers to dynamically script the behavior of objects running on either the client or the server. What does this even mean? Like, I know enough about programming that this statement by itself is emotionally painful and confusing. JavaScript is analogous to Visual Basic in that it can be used by people with little or no programming experience to quickly construct complex applications. <laughs> Still true. Still true. <laughs> Still true and hurts. Still true and hurts. Hey, man, React is really awesome. All right. Uh, JavaScript's design represents the next generation of software design specifically for the Internet, capital I, and is... Designed for creating network-centric applications, complementary to and integrated with Java, complementary to and integrated with Hitmel, open and cross-platform. Crazy. Java, developed by Sun, is an object-oriented programming language that operates independent of any... Is this is this for, like, programmers? Who who are they writing to? Okay, the, the amount of times you said is object-oriented or is object-scripting language, it's like, how many times? Uh, Java... 
developed by Sun. It is an object-oriented programming language that operates independent of any operating system or microprocessor. Java programs called applets. By the way, I my first the, the the thing that got me into programming, like as a heavy programming thing was JavaScript applets. I used it to make little video games before I knew physics. I had my own physics, and then I learned physics and rewrote the engine using fit. Oh, man. Can be transmitted over the network and run on any client, providing the multimedia richness of a, of a CD-ROM. <laughs> so many Ws need to happen in chat right now. Okay. So many Ws right now. Java applets provide the richness of, of a CD-ROM. This statement is... This statement is... Is... There is no competing who has made more of a great statement that has been so like we just got done reading an article about Go and how it was designed and how wisdom was able to prevail. 11 years later, it was still a good article talking about good things on how we should think about programming. We look at this and everything about this statement has been deprecated. <laughs> this is the opposite the opposite of wisdom we're reading right now. This is so good. Over corporate networks and the internet, capital I. Java has been widely hailed by programmers because it eliminates the need to port applications and by managers of information systems for its potential to lower the cost of distributing and maintaining applications across the network. With JavaScript, an HTML, pa uh, an HTML page might contain an intelligent form that performs loan payments or currency exchange, which is programmed by people with little to no programming experience. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. A multimedia weather forecast applet written in Java can be scripted by JavaScript to display appropriate images and sounds based on the current weather readings in a region. A server-side JavaScript... What? Did they call Node.js in 19... They knew. They... They knew. This whole time, I thought it was an accident. Oh my goodness, is this a CIA psyop to make my life horrible? I think it literally is. I think this is a psyop. I think we've officially, I think we got to get Alex Jones on here right now. We got to get Jones on here right now. They're turning all the freaking programming languages into JavaScript. That's what's happening right now. It's been, it's been, it was, it was there. Might be pulled a data as SSR called 20 years ago. JavaScript might pull data out of a relational database and format it in HTML on the fly. Oh my goodness, it is. They literally called React server components. Ah, uh, oh, no, not. And React still screwed it up for a decade. How did that happen? <laughs> How did that, how did you do that? How did this, what? A page might contain JavaScripts, uh, JavaScripts that run on both the client and the server and the server, the scripts might dynamically compose and format HTML content based on the user preferences stored in the relational database and on the client, the scripts would uh, glue together the assortment of Java applets and HTML. <laughs> how were you so close yet so far away? Uh, form elements into live interactive user interfaces for specifying a net-wide search of information. Java programs and JavaScript scripts are designed to run both on both clients and servers with JavaScript scripts used to modify the properties or behavior of Java objects so the range of live online applications that dynamically present information to and interact with users over enterprise networks or the internet capital i is virtually unlimited i mean they really did have good foresight here other than the whole javascript scripts and java program like all that netscape uh, will support java and java scripts uh in the client and server products as well as programming tools and applications to make this vision a reality uh, programmers have been o overwhelmingly enthusiastic about Java because it designed from the ground up for the internet, capital I. JavaScript is a natural fit, but since it also is designed for the internet, capital I, and Unicode-based worldwide use, said Bill Joy. F and Bill Joy. Did you know Bill Joy invented Vi and then right afterwards left Vi 
and started using Emacs. That is not fake. That is not a made up story. He literally did that. Okay, Bill? Bill, how could you be both? You are Atticin, Bill. You are an Atticin. Co-founder and vice president of research at Sun, JavaScript will be the most effective method to connect Hitmo-based content to Java applets. Bill! I wish I could talk to Bill. Honestly, I really wish I could talk to Bill. I don't even know if Bill Joy is still alive. If he is alive and I can somehow talk to him, I would love to talk to Bill. Java is available. Okay, so we are, we're almost done when it comes to some citing. Java is available to developers free of charge. The Java compiler, TM, and Java, Java developers kit, TM, as well as the hot Java browser. Uh, and related documentation are available from Sun's website at http colon slash slash java.sun.com. In addition, the Java source code can be licensed for free for a fee details on the licensing are also available via the java.sun.com webpage to date sun has licensed java to a number of leading technology companies including borland macromedia mitsubishi netscape oracle silicon graphics spyglass and toshiba sun's workshop for java toolkit is scheduled for release in spring 1996 sun's neo product family the first complete development operating and management environment for object-oriented network applications will also use java enabled browser also uh, as front ends to the neo environment man did they get that wrong <laughs> i w <laughs> man just like bill joy chose emacs did bill joy get it wrong uh no hey by the way i'm not making fun of bill joy bill joy obviously you know, hero. Other than that, I'm still trying to get the knife out of my back, though. It's really hurting right now. Netscape and Sun plan to propose JavaScript to the W3 Consortium, W3C, and the Internet, capital I, Engineering Task Force, as an open inter Internet, capital I, scripting language standard. JavaScript will be an open, freely licensed, proposed standard available to the entire Internet, capital I, community. Existing Sun Java licenses will receive a license to JavaScript. In addition, Sun and Netscape intend to make a source code reference implementation of JavaScript available for royalty-free licensing, further encouraging its adoption as a standard uh, in a wide variety of products. Honestly, this is actually a really great statement here. Notice they 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 really close down source code that has the whole argument with Google and the whole uh, everything with Java and the fee and the licensing, whereas JavaScript came royalty-free just like anyone can have it other than Oracle owning the JavaScript Twitter handle, and they will sue you if you try to use the term Java. Is JavaScript at any website? Yes, this is true. No, my fears about Rust saying you can't use it in a website aren't unfounded they literally did it to somebody just within the last few weeks or in the last couple months okay when people say that they don't like trademark policy especially when it comes to rust you now understand why netscape communications corporation is a premier provider of open source for linking people and information over enterprise networks and the internet capital i the comp company offers a full line of Netscape Navigator clients, Netscape servers. What am I reading? With annual revenues of six billion, Sun Microsystems <laughs> provide solutions that enable customers to build and maintain open network computing environments. Widely recognized as a proponent of open standards. Okay, is this just like all patting each other on the back? <laughs> okay, let's read some quotes. Okay, we're about to get quoted. Are you ready? JavaScript brings the power of rapid multimedia application development with cross-platform mobility at both the operating system and architecture level. We are pleased to integrate this powerful language into our developers program. Mike Connors, President, America Online Technologies. JavaScript will allow us to easily create personalized applets for the Excite service. These applets, combined with the rich functionality of Excite service, will integrate more fully into the user's experience as they explore and navigate the Internet. You have mail. Graham Spencer, Chief Technology Officer, Architects Software. AT&T, semicolon. <laughs> support for JavaScript is more than support for cool technology. It is a support for an open standard process. The open standards are and will be as important to the success of the internet, capital I, as open connectivity. Tom, okay, this guy, actually, this guy did a really great job. He's absolutely correct. 
the more open, the more free it is, the better and quicker it can be ad adopted. This is good. Uh, all right, let's let's see some good ones here. JavaScript and Java represent important steps in the evolution of the internet. Capital I. And the intranets. People have no idea what she's even saying. For business computing, JavaScript allows internet applications to easily connect um, to production databases such as CA, CA Open Ingress. Let me guess. CA is Computer Associates. <laughs> Really, while Java allows easy to use multi platform web clients for CA Unicenter and business applications such as CA Masterpiece and CA Man Man 10 and CA Acpack. What the hell's a CA? Nancy? Nancy, what is CA? Tools like JavaScript will unleash a new wave of creativity and transform the internet in a way no one can predict. <laughs> Lord have mercy. My goodness, this guy predicted correctly. No one saw this one coming. Uh, JavaScript and other developments will demand increased system performance. <laughs> Shoot, that's funny. Uh, ideally met by digital alpha system architecture. <laughs> okay, Rose. Why does everything... Do you notice that everything with JavaScript also is a self-promo? Are you catching this right now? It is like literally all self-promo every time. Hey, by the way, JavaScript pairs best with CA technology. JavaScript is an exciting technology because it represents the next generation of software design specifically for the internet capital I. Hewlett Packard is committed to open standards and a sub and is a supporter of JavaScript because it complements Hewlett Packard's open system architecture. Thank you, Jan or Jan. I don't know if you're German or not. Uh, we plan to integrate our atomic or our automatic document indexing and abstraction technology to leverage the power and functionality of JavaScript. The power and use of our technologies greatly enhance the server and its delivery of timely and valuable documents for web clients. Robert Griggs, Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Iconovex Corporation. You're probably asking yourself, oh, Iconovex, the corporation we all know about. RIP Iconovex, it is still making somewhere between zero to $1 million in revenue. It has less than 25 employees. It probably has some, it, I, how much do you want to bet? It probably has some, oh my goodness, Stephen Waldron is still, oh my goodness, we can email we could call Stephen Waldron? <laughs> Let's make a phone call. Stephen? Stephen? Stephen, this is the Primogen. Um, Microsoft empowers developers to create powerful new class of multimedia-rich applications in a platform-independent development environment. How much money did you have to pay somebody to say this quote? Uh, Illustra's unique, extensible, object-relational architecture... <laughs> Look at this. They're literally Dr. Dr. Michael Stone Breaker. More like ball breaker here. What are you doing? Why why you got to be like this? Why do all of you have into it? Into it. Into it. Uh, paper software implies a multi-dimensional ver verbal user interface that is What is this? Does anybody here just say something about JavaScript other than the person that's like and no one can predict? No one can predict. This was probably the best statement of all time. In fact, this statement deserves a tweet. Can predict. Let's 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 correctly attribute it to to, to Rose, Rose and Gordano, Gordano, Gordano. Nine, uh, December fourth, nineteen ninety four. A stone breaker is a legend. Well, stone break me in surprise, okay? I didn't realize Dr. Ball Breaker is a legend. Okay, hey, guess what? The name is JavaScript is a object scripting language agenda.